If this is not the healthy Emmy starter guide, then I don't know what is. <laughs> so I have just created a new free resource for you and I'm going to be testing it out here while I enjoy my meal. So this is my mindful eating guide and you can get it linked in the down bar. It is totally free and I'm going to be using it while I enjoy my meal and have my B12 supplement to make sure that it addresses everything that I wanted to. So it's a super simple 10 step guide for you to actually use before during and after meal time to get you into the rest and digest state totally free in the down bar you can get your own copy and download it right now the bowl that i'm currently having is from my healthy bowls cookbook this is the post-workout bowl but i subbed corn for tofu because i didn't have tofu and of course i'm having my vitamin b12 supplement along with it I personally just swallow the capsule, but if you have trouble swallowing pills, you can actually open up the capsule and you can just pour the contents. I won't open it up here because it'll all fall over the table, but you can pour the contents directly onto your tongue if you don't like swallowing pills. I just created a new module for the Slim on Starch program. This is one of my favorite modules I have ever made. And I, I seriously say that every time I make a new module because I get so excited about it. But this is all about how to build meals that are satisfying based on what your unique needs and preferences are when it comes to meal building. So if you're not in the Slim on Starch program, get your booty in there. And if you are in the Slim on Starch program, this is in the stage two modules. So make sure you check this one out. I love it, I love it, I love it. Happy Easter. Easter is tough when you're somebody like me because this is my closet, not a pastel in sight. So Mr. Bezos really came through for us here. Inside one of these packages is hopefully what I will be wearing today if it fits, but I also have a ton of other packages. This is the fun part about moving is there's so many little things that you need and you order a bunch of stuff and then you figure out, figure out what it is. And then it's like Christmas morning. Let's open it together. I think that this one, has little cat scratches all over it. This is, this is ginormous. This is the size of the name tag that Jim makes for Dwight. This is pretty impressive how large this is. This is my tea. I need a refill on my tea, so let's refill it. This is Davidson's Organic Chamomile Flowers. Mm, it smells so good. On my Amazon storefront, they're all flowers. Okay, perhaps this one is the dress. Yay! So it's Easter, which means gotta wear some color. So back to what I was saying, Easter is tough for me because I don't own much color. Pretty much only wear black. I think black is my color. So I got this little dress. Gosh, this is adorable. We'll see how it looks on. I have a good feeling about it. But where the color comes in, it was slim pickings for Amazon one day delivery <laughs> when I had the panic moment of, it's Easter, I need to wear color. I just got this little shrug. Again, it was slim pickings for color. I don't really like this color. We'll see. We'll see how that looks a little bit later. We'll try it on. The next one I am so excited about. I'm gonna do it now. My friend Michaela convinced me I'm like Ace Ventura with these guys to get one of these. As we know, I'm very into keeping my skin youthful and healthy. Not to say that there's anything wrong with aging. I actually heard, I believe it was Pamela Anderson used the term lifing instead of aging, which I thought was so beautiful. But I do wanna keep my skin as healthy as possible. And there's been a lot of talk about red light therapy, lasers on the skin. So I decided to invest. Like I said, I trust my friend Michaela. She got herself one of these. And I'll be very regretful if time goes by and my skin is not in good health. And I'll say, why didn't I just get one when I was in my 20s? So a little pricey, but it's an investment. And again, I would rather, I would rather have it not work and have spent the couple hundred dollars as opposed to I'm in my 40s, 50s, 60s, and I'm like, if I had just spent a few hundred dollars in my 20s, I'd be looking a lot better. So yeah, I'm considering this an investment, and with investment comes risk, but also 
Christmas reward. So it's one of these red light masks. And the reason why I got this one is because I believe that with this one, it's packaged beautifully, by the way. You don't need to, oh, I'm so excited. This is very soft. You don't need to plug it in and sit with it. You can walk around with it. So I'm gonna be using one of these. Updates to come. Really impressed with this packaging. We have three more packages. This one was sent to me, just plain nutty peanut butter. Oh, cool, okay. So they sent me their peanut butter, their almond butter, and their cashew butter. This is awesome. So I'll definitely be using these for recipes and dressings. So you'll see how we do with those. One more package, what is this? Oh, this is a gift for my significant other. I'm gonna go give this to him. Okay, so now, the very exciting part of the vlog. I'm gonna show you what the apartment is looking like right now. And we have three things down in the mail room that are really gonna tie together the apartment. So let me show you what's going on. So here is the current setup. We have the couch and the TV has been hung by a healthy dad. Now what we are going to do is we're gonna put a little fireplace right here. So I purchased a, an, an electric plug-in fireplace. Over here in the corner, we're gonna put a little table. <laughs> and here we go. So purchased a table, which we're gonna unbox and put together today. And then a rug, of course, to tie this all together and make it nice and cozy. I also purchased some frames because we're gonna put some frames up here. I, I have an idea and I'll show you once it comes together. But for now, the three big things that we're going to do today are put the rug, here we go. We're gonna put the rug, we're gonna put the table together and we're gonna put the fireplace. So my boyfriend's in the shower right now. His sister and her husband are coming by they're in town just for today so we're gonna hang out with them for a little bit and then we're gonna go to healthy parents this is from rugs usa different from rugs.com i couldn't really find i feel like every rug was just, was a shag rug on rugs.com also for any real housewives fans out there jill zarin has monopolized rugs.com it's like jill zarin galore who knew i got a five by eight because i can just barely get away with it and the six by nine was way more expensive. Just like barely any extra footage, square footage here. So, and I don't want the rug to take up the entire apartment. Beautiful. It's this beautiful thick knit. I do need to put it under the legs of the couch. We have this happening. Someone's a happy camper. Make it known, V. This is your territory, baby. Yep, get your scent all over it. Here we go. I assume that's what he's doing, right? The next thing I'm gonna open up is the table. And I don't think we'll have time to do everything, but that's okay, we can do more later. Love. Nice. A little table. So here are the parts of the table. Looks fairly simple to put together. I think I can throw this together. I have my instructions. I have my tools. Let's get to work. I'm going to be responsible and read the directions. So it always takes a million times longer when you don't. going over to Healthy Parents for Easter and I am just finalizing what I'm so excited about, which is trivia. Primary foods are something that I talk about with the SOS program a lot and primary foods are not the foods that you eat. They are the activities that nourish your soul and that make you really excited. And so I've set up music trivia for Easter. So my mom and dad are taking care of the cooking. I'll show you everything that we're eating. 
but I'm taking care of the fun. And that's what I'm so excited about. I stayed up late last night past my bedtime. I texted my brother, I was like, stayed up past my bedtime to get music trivia in place. So music is something that my brother absolutely loves. Both of my brothers are incredible with music. They can play guitar, they can hear music and play it back. It's really spectacular what they can do. And my dad loves music, my mom loves music, so I made music trivia. So we're gonna do one second song association where it plays a second of a song and they have to write down what it is. We're gonna stop at the dollar store and I'm gonna get a little chalkboard so they can write their answers. And then I made a Jeopardy game on my laptop and I'm just gonna make sure that it's all good to go so that I'm not futzing around when we get there. Like it's, it's already open right when I open my laptop. So the categories are ACDC, Jimi Hendrix, The Beatles, and Stevie Wonder. And we're gonna play some trivia. And I'm gonna stop and get a scratch ticket. So the winner can win a scratch ticket, can lose a scratch ticket. But I'm just so excited about the primary foods. It's like really all I care about. <laughs> I think it's just gonna be so fun. Because I already know the food is gonna be delicious. My mom texted me the other day and she said, Easter menu, and she wrote all of her ideas. I was like, sounds good to me. I don't have to lift a finger, <laughs> perfect. It's all gonna be slim on starch approved and it's gonna be delicious. We're gonna feel good after. Digestion's gonna be great. Not gonna feel bloated and weighed down and gross tomorrow morning. And all that's fine and dandy and awesome. But really what I'm excited about are the primary foods. Happy Easter, good one, huh? Do you like my sweater? Priceless. Priceless. Wow, look at this. Wow, look at you guys. Cat food and everything. <laughs> we're having a oh party? Oh my goodness. Wait, we're having a party mix? We're having a party mix? Party mix? Yo. Right on schedule. Happy Easter. Happy Easter, sir. What's going on? So impressed by all of this. This is Black a professional grapes. Black grapes are so good. Wow. Mom, you look so cute. I love the high hole. You guys both look cute. You know? Your shirt is so nice. Thanks. Did you get your hair cut? Mm, three weeks ago. You look beautiful. <laughs> I'm letting it grow, by the way. I'm at Healthy Parents. Mom, we gotta have you tell the story of my Germany sweater. Um, so when my college roommate um, early in her marriage, she married a um, guy from West Point, and they were in Germany. That's where he was stationed. In the late 90s. So, Healthy Dad's gift to me was that I got a trip to Germany. And Regina and I um, traveled to Austria, and uh, that's where I bought this sweater. I saw it in the shop, and I bought it for Emily. And I promptly lost my credit card. And I was a youngin' at the time, but yeah. then... But then, so we put this in my memory box because this is my Germany sweater. Well, and you it was were like very, four. Yes, yeah. I thought I was four. So it was 1999. Yeah. So this was very, just, it's a very nostalgic piece for us. So it was in my memory box up in the attic until I moved out a few years ago into my house. And dad gave me my memory box <laughs> and I pulled it back out and I was like, Let's see if it fits. Right. And it's so cute. It's cute. I need it's to get it dry cleaned. It has some oh, stains. stains. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. <laughs> A fire? Are those for the guests? Are those artichokes? No. You guys pull out all the stuffs today. Oh my gosh, it smells like Easter. These are the best. These are in your cookbook. Stuffed artichokes are in the Healthy Mummy cookbook. When I show up, Healthy Mummy has chamomile and hot water ready to go. How lucky am I? What do we have on this fine Easter Sunday? Uh, main dish, a vegan lasagna, which I um, cooked this morning and then we'll just reheat. Will this be in Healthy Mummy 2.0? Sure. Grapes and strawberries, a nice green salad, what is the, the featured dressing? Um, the featured dressing is from the Healthy Dressings cookbook. It's the maple tahini. The tahini specially for it. <laughs> Dijon mustard, tahini, maple syrup, some garlic, apple cider vinegar. So okay. that's good. Some rolls. And Healthy Dad has already in the air fryer um, some big portobello mushrooms, which we're gonna cook up. Um, some Brussels sprouts, some zucchini, some summer squash, 
And then my entire life, you can't have Easter without some artichokes. So these were so beautiful. I couldn't believe how beautiful they were. Oh my gosh, they they're huge. So I just got a couple of those. Aunt Lorraine sent those for us. Yeah, that's right. Um, okay, so I'm going to chop these up and just put these on parchment paper. Mm -hmm. Is this, is there something in here? That's for you. It's okay, for so you. I'm going to turn it up. Do you want it higher? Yeah. Guess what? We have the same exact oven. Oh, you do. So you just bake it Yeah, I'm just thinking about how much I wanted. Is we've got portobello mushrooms in the air fryer. And I think, I think this might be in the Healthy Dad 2.0 cookbook that's on its, on its way. All right. Well, then we'll just tease it. Yeah. So a little chipotle, a little ground back pepper, and a little... Little garlic powder. <laughs> Six minutes aside, and now with the onions, they get really caramelized. I'm gonna go. No water. I really just get. Because the then you end up just steaming them. To get the water. pan good and hot. And it's really it's it's pretty simple stuff. Just about go time here. So we have. This is gonna be in Healthy Dad 2.0 cookbook. These look so good. Onions and mushrooms. Big green salad. Grapes. Artichoke. And then in here, the veggies. The lasagna. Should be yum. I wish dad had peppers. Veggies are all roasted. They're in there for a bit of time. Artichokes look good. Look at this lasagna. That is next level. Gosh! It's so wow. nice. Wow! This looks amazing. You guys killed it. The couch looks amazing. Welcome to Easter Trivia 2024. Okay, class. This is going to be music. I'm not part of the trivia, so I wrote it. <laughs> 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 yes, <laughs> We have two categories. Take a good look around. <laughs> He's first, just going to write uh, uh, author. The first category is one second song association. So I'm going to play the first second of the song, and you need to write down what the song is. All right, ready? Ready. <laughs> look at these guys. Unbelievable. No, it's not Dancing Queen. <laughs> I'd be so bad at this game. You're close. They're both songs. <laughs> I'd be so bad at this game. I thought it was the... Da, 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 da. <laughs> Good thing they didn't hear you whisper. <laughs> yeah. He's hanging around here for community service. That's Chris. I'm in the time of your All right, here we go. We did it. One, two, three. More than a woman. Well done, all three of you. <laughs> so that means no one gets it. Oh, I... I'll play it again. Sir Duke by Stevie Wonder. And I will remind everybody that the winner of this will be winning a $2 scratch ticket. Look at this, it's pretty official. So... We have four sections for Jeopardy today. ACDC, Jimi Hendrix, The Beatles, and Stevie Wonder. We're gonna start with the lowest scoring person first. <laughs> um, Alex, I'll go ACDC for 500. ACDC for 500. Wow, step right up to the plate. Yeah. Classic it? Jeopardy, it has to be framed as a question. Four, 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 four question. Rosie's measurements. What are 49, 32, 56? 39, 56! I think the answer is a reread sitting there. But, oh my Answers? High voltage. Living for the city, higher ground, and don't you worry about a thing. This album is very sentimental to me because... The album's true. And oh, there's also... And he's Mr. Know-It-All is on that album, too. That album's tremendous. Mm -hmm. It's very sentimental to me because it was... I listened to the first half when you lived in Quincy every single time I drove. And you'd eat your oatmeal? I listened to the first half Did on the you? way there and the second half on the way back. And your oatmeal? Yeah. 
All right, answers. Inner visions is correct. Very good, boys. A disgrace. That's <laughs> 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 a disgrace. What was a good score? Is Tommy. Tommy. Is mum with $3,100. Okay, thank you. I'll take it. In second place. $4,300. No way! It's a tie. We have a tie. Oh, a right. perfect tie. Oh. So give tie. Tie will split the winnings. All right. $4,300. A perfect 60, tie. Since this is a dad tie. And that's his name. Wow. You should get this so back. tie. I don't know. I don't know. Well, wait a A one question <laughs> playoff. <laughs> Listen, lose. <laughs> okay, you, guys, you guys don't answer it in the form of a question. They still give you the points. I'm going to be Emily. <laughs> the one question I used to go to this water park, the surf toaster, surf coast, they call it surf toaster up on Lake Winnipesaukee. Daddy, have something here. <laughs> children under five and over 70 got in for free. Losser. Well, say goodbye. Peace out. Mom and yeah. Ty, say goodbye to the vlog. Bye vlog. <laughs> Happy Easter. <laughs> okay, so we just got back from Healthy Parents. We've laid out the parts of the fireplace. We have project manager here reading up on the manual so that we can put it all together and hopefully we can put this fireplace together. So let's see how it goes. All right, we're going to call it a night. We're going to watch the Bachelor finale a week late because my boyfriend was away. Call it a day. This really is not doing it justice, but wow, what a magnificent sunset tonight. So much gratitude. Taylor Bell with ROAS 5. Let me just remove the attribution setting so we can. Yes, cool. I did okay. send a few still photos of the B12 in natural sunlight that were just taken on my iPhone this type it for the still content because i've been finding that that sort of organic user generated look seems to be in vogue right now people want things that are more authentic and organic looking so i did send those over if we want to creatives with you know the benefits of the b12 and what it does and everything as opposed to on the hero shots from that are on the website but from those more organic shots how would i say instagramish photos were better than the professional Right. So yeah, doing some some split testing. Hello, hey you. How are ya? That's that is so good. We're starting out this fine day by me recording a YouTube video. I'm making a breakfast, lunch, and dinner. What I eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So here's some behind the scenes. We got breakfast. We got lunch. <sighs> And we got dinner. So because there's 10,000 different platforms that I have to capture content on, I am taking photos of everything. I also took a TikTok while I was making this. And now I need to think about what I wanna do for Instagram. So I filmed a big YouTube video for Instagram. It's like, do I do reels with this? Do I just do still photos? Do I do a combination of both? So. I'm just taking still photos because why not? But then I'm probably going to need to do some reels with them as well. Good enough, okay. I've taken a bunch of photos. There is this TikTok sound that might, I might do for a reel. I think I'll probably do like two reels today or I'll do two posts on Instagram today. I'll do like a static post. Meanwhile, I'm getting no help from my useless, doing, doing the absolute least. One of the hardest parts of being a content creator is there's 10 zillion platforms that you have to account for. So I just made all of this for YouTube, but then I have to consider that there's Instagram Reels, Instagram Posts, YouTube Shorts, TikTok, Facebook. There's all these different platforms and it's like, okay, what am I gonna do for this, that, and the other? Unfortunately, one piece of content cannot be put on every platform. You have to speak to every platform differently. It's like how you have, you speak to your grandmother differently than you speak to your property manager. You speak differently to your coworker than you do your 
best friend. All the different platforms are like that as well. So unfortunately, you know, back in the day, I could make one YouTube video and it was bing, bang, bam, donezo, and you were done for the day. <laughs> Those are the good old days. Now I have all these different platforms to consider and that is just a tiny piece of what I do. The majority of my days are spent facing the Slimon Starch program. That's where so much of my effort is put. I wear like a thousand hats. I'm the content creator, I am a nutritionist, I'm a coach. And so that's one of the difficult things is having so many platforms that you do have to put all of your content on, but I don't have to do it, I get to do it. I was a teacher five years ago, or six years ago. I used to watch people do this kind of stuff and I'd be like, shut the heck up. Quit your complaining and I'm not complaining. I feel so grateful that I get to do this. The, the challenge, and I love a challenge, is putting it on all of these different platforms. I want more hours in the day. Is that too much to ask for? That would make this so much easier. I also wish the sun would come out because then my content would be so much more beautiful, but it's a super gloomy day here. And it's this catch 22 because I love the rain. It's so cozy, I love it, but it ain't good for content. So if the weather could do both for me, maybe, that would be nice. Okay, let's keep capturing content here. Full U-turn, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Turn around, full U-turn, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Okay, so here's what we went with <laughs> for TikTok. So now I'm taking the thumbnail of my photo. So I have my phone on my tripod. I have my camera remote on my iPhone and I'm going to hold these up so that I can take photos with the food so that I can make my thumbnail. All right, so I took pictures of breakfast, lunch, and dinner so I can put those into a thumbnail now. <laughs> it's so cute too because Bear is always bathing V. But I actually originally adopted Bear with Tiger. They were bond they were a bonded pair and I adopted them together in 2020. And then unfortunately in 2021, Tiger passed away very suddenly and unexpectedly and it was tragic. It was absolutely tragic. I actually talk I talked about it in one video and then never spoke of it again because it's so painful to think about and talk about. But we got Versace. And Bear, over on the right, was the best big brother and just so welcoming and warm to Versace. And Versace is absolutely insane. He's only tame when he sleeps. And Bear is just the most mellow. He's so sweet to his brother and so accepting of him, even though his brother is insane. And peed on her bed twice this week. And by the way, I brought him to the vet because he was peeing on the bed all the time. And the vet's like, yep, we checked everything out. Like, looking totally just behavioral. <laughs> but we did move this week, so he's a little bit stressed out. And also, whenever my boyfriend leaves, he... Oh, here we go with bath time. <laughs> whenever my boyfriend leaves, he... He doesn't like that, so. Do you know what happiness is? Happiness is the sun coming out, warming me up after my meal, sitting with my cats, about to do a podcast. Since I've been making, I'm talking into this like I'm using it, I'm not using it right now. <laughs> Since I have been making more lifestyle videos on YouTube, my videos used to almost exclusively be me sitting down and talking to the camera. But since I've been making more lifestyle videos, they haven't been looking like that. And so what I used to do is I would just take my videos and then just put them onto my podcast. My podcast is just the audio version of my videos. I've actually never done what I'm about to do, which is sit down and like record a podcast that's not a YouTube video. But I need a podcast to go up this weekend. I get it. I have a new podcast go up every Sunday at 6 a.m. And it's so funny because people will say, oh, I listen to your podcast. I listen to all your podcasts. I'm thinking to myself, that is so funny because I think my main, my main place is YouTube with all you guys, my homies. And it's just so crazy that 
people listen to my podcast because my podcast, there's a different vibe. Like this is a vibe. This where it's just like me and my microphone and there's no camera. That is different energy from what I do in my YouTube videos. So I almost feel like my podcast, if I just did a podcast, there was no camera and it was just me and the microphone, my podcast would be the bell of the ball. But uh, anyway, long story long, I need, I don't have a podcast going up on Sunday because I don't have a sit down YouTube video. So I'm gonna record one. And I'm gonna record one about the mindful eating guide that I just did. Here we are in the old apartment. First thing I need to do is I need to rip off, this is a sticker. Forgot that I had to do this. <laughs> so I gotta rip this off. Gosh guys, I've been working on this for literally an hour. This is insane. <laughs> this is really hard to get off. Oh my gosh, you guys, no lie, that took me an hour and 45 minutes to get everything off. <laughs> I was using a Trader Joe's gift card to try to scrape it. Oh my goodness. I totally forgot that I needed to do that. So that ate up a lot of time I wasn't planning on <laughs> using. The apartment tour. So here was our little main living area. This was our bedroom. My boyfriend used this closet as an office. Kitchen. And then this was my office. All right, I did not think that I was gonna be here for like two and a half hours. <laughs> oh my goodness, but this is it. Goodbye, old apartment. If you made it to this point of the video, I want you to comment, got the guide, because you got the mindful eating guide, and I'm so proud of you for allowing your body to move into the rest and digest state. Versace says that he loves you, and we'll see you in our next video. Right, B? Give him the kiss. Mwah. Well, if you're not going to do it, we'll see if your brother can. Can you give them the kiss? Give him the kiss. Mwah.